What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna to teach you how to do an effect where the camera goes through a computer screen and comes to the person on the other side. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos to help you grow as creators. Consider subscribing if you have not already. Everything we're accomplishing today can be done inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Let's load it up and get going. So you can see the sequence I built out as me on the computer and then it shows the visuals of it going through the screen, side shots of it, my face, and then you can see that I'm showing some shots of the computer. Of course, the effect and the part that people were talking about the most is the second shot right here where it starts on it in focus and then you can see it pushes through the glass and my face is there behind. Uh, I think it's a really cool effect uh, and we are going to accomplish this now. If we come over to the raw clips, you can see that I have just a screen recording and then underneath it, I have me at the computer. Really, it's just me with my face really close to the camera where the computer screen would generally be. I'm just kind of, you know, bobbling my head. I don't really know why, looking like I'm listening to music, even though that is not what I was doing on the screen. I would definitely plan out what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a better effect. So we're gonna break this down into two steps. Step number one, we're gonna be focusing on the top video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the inspector, transform, and in here, we're gonna go ahead and flip it horizontal because if the computer screen was facing us and the camera was behind it, it would be opposite, if that makes sense. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we are also gonna go to the composite mode. Uh, you can play around with these, which one you like. I think add looks good as well as screen looks pretty good and overlay looks okay. It depends on the effect you're looking for. Screen is a little washed out for my taste. Add seems about the same, but just has just a touch more contrast, maybe in my opinion. Maybe that's just me not wanting to scroll down to the bottom of the composite mode. Not really sure. Uh, I do need to size this up. Uh, not my screen, that's too big. I need to size up the video clip, so what I'm gonna do is go to the transform, and I'm just gonna zoom it in. Uh, it does not have to go all the way in, unless that's what you're wanting to go for. I'm just gonna zoom it in right here, where it's just kind of covering up majority of the screen. Uh, maybe bring it down just a little bit and bring it over here, because I do like seeing the album covers on the side. I think that's cool. I think that looks great. Again, I did this earlier, so I would record a lot on your screen as well as I would record your face doing a whole lot of things uh, because sometimes it didn't look as good when it was scrolling. Sometimes it, it, it looked better. Uh, this one looked better that it rolled past it and there was a bigger gap where it was dark behind it. Uh, the video clip underneath it, if I want to do something to it, the only thing I'm gonna do is honestly maybe give it a little contrast. So I'm gonna go into the color page I'm gonna make sure I have the bottom clip selected. I am going to make sure I've got some curves on it, maybe just a little bit more because it's a little too washed out. The same thing as the top clip. If I wanted to add a little bit of contrast, I could do that. It always comes down to you whether you like it to be a little more punchy, a little more washed out. There's really no right or wrong way to do that. Before we move on to the next steps and make this an amazing visual effect, let's pay some bills up in this mug and talk about the sponsor of this video and that is Motion Array. Motion Array is an amazing one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. Me being a video editor, I am always needing something in a hurry. Let's say I want a video template and I want it to be inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna click on that. They have it laid out so well and have an amazing set of assets. I'm gonna find what I'm looking for. I think that is super cool. I tend to go towards the glitchy style. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna make sure it's for what I need it is. I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna load it inside DaVinci Resolve. Each one of these are customizable so I can make it fit perfect to the project I'm doing. If I don't like something, I change it. If I like the way that it is, I'm done. I move on. My life is that much easier. I'm getting paid for the next project, so on and so forth you keep moving. I have a link in the description below. Use that link when you sign up for Motion Array and you will get $50 off an annual plan. Thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Moving on to the last few steps of this awesome effect, we need to add a blur. A lot of people like to use Gaussian blur for things. Uh, Gaussian, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I don't like using that. I actually like using lens blur. It is a little more extensive on your computer, but I think it looks more realistic. So I'm gonna add it to both layers. 
I'm gonna go into the second layer uh, under the effects, still under the inspector, and I'm just gonna shut it off temporarily because I'm not gonna bother with that just for a minute. Uh, we're gonna go to the top layer and I am going to turn it up just a little bit. 4.26 I think is fine. I'm gonna add a keyframe on blur size under controls and then I'm gonna go somewhere to there. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna add another keyframe. We're gonna go back to the beginning by clicking that a little arrow. It's gonna take us to the first keyframe and I am gonna turn that blur size down. So now if I play it through, it slowly blurs and you can see my face is revealed a lot easier. I think that looks great. Of course, this effect is not done. We have to deal with the video underneath. So I like to click on the top video right here. I like to find the keyframe by just using the arrow to bring me right to that spot. Then I'm gonna click on the video underneath it, not moving my you know little cursor there. I'm going to turn back on lens blur. I'm gonna add a keyframe so I know both of these are lined up. I think that's just easier to do. We are gonna go to the beginning of the clip because that's where the other keyframe was. We are gonna add another keyframe. And then again, now that we've got our both keyframes set, I'm gonna go back to the second one, but this time I'm gonna turn it down so it's reversed. So you can see my face is being revealed as the screen is slowly blurring. And if we play that through, it looks something like that. The last step that I did was I added just a little tiny zoom. So I clicked on the top video clip. Uh, I went to the transform. I added a keyframe under zoom and position. And then I went somewhere about there and I just zoomed in a little bit, something like so. I right clicked on that second keyframe that I added and I hit ease in so it'll smooth into it. Then if you play that through, looks something like that. One extra bonus tip that I will say I did not use in mine because I thought it was just a little too much, but you may like it is if you want to add a little razzle dazzle on top of it, I would go to your open effects. I would look for the prism and I would put that prism blur on top of it and it's really gonna enhance it. So then when you play it through, it's got this little bit of tweakiness to it. Uh, it kind of separates the layers and makes it just that much more 3D. Again, not required uh, to do this effect. Uh, and I'm not actually 100% sure if that is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If it is, please let me know in the comments below. Do you like this effect? Have you used something like this before? Will you use something like this in the future? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See y'all next time. Peace.